Hey guys, Galusia here, and this is going to be a quick two-part series. I've had a lot of people ask me about how to install Industrial Craft since I do so much of it. And there are some tutorials out there, but I don't want to let my peeps down. If you want to know, I'm going to tell you. But first, I'm going to teach you how to back up your Minecraft, because that is really important. And a couple of shortcuts and things that will help you out. So, if this, is, if some of you may already know some of this stuff, but we're just going to get into it. So... To start off, to get into your Minecraft folder, you're going to want to go percent app data percent. That's what you're going to type down here in your little search bar. And you're going to click on the roaming file that's going to pop up. And very at the top of this thing should be the dot Minecraft folder. And this is your uh, entire Minecraft save and everything that goes on with it, right? But what you want to do is, if you haven't already done this, go to your dot Minecraft, right click on it, and click create shortcut. Down here, I have a Minecraft shortcut link. So I don't have to type percent app data percent every time I want to get into my Minecraft. And if you're into mods and stuff like that, then this is a good thing to do because it'll, you know, this is that much faster, okay? Some of the things that you're going to want to back up are, number one, of course, going to be your saves. There's all your saves right there, and you can open into it. You can see I have a lot of worlds and whatnot. So it's a decent-sized file, but... Definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, like everything, like I was saying, it's it's worth backing this up every once in a while. I cannot tell you how many different times I've had people be like, uh, my Minecraft is gone, what do I do? I don't know, you should have backed it up. So, where is my Minecraft? Oh, there's a whole other file for it. So, as you can see, I have a lot of old backups. Some of these are for alpha. Like, I've, I've been doing this for a while. So, I'll just create another new folder. And I usually just name it the date. So it's 7 July is when I'm actually recording this. And paste it in there. So that's how you're going to back up your world files. I try to do this once a week if I'm thinking of it. But, uh, you know, it ends up being more like once a month because I never think about it. <laughs> and it will take a minute to do, not just because... Well, for me, I have a lot of files, but... Minecraft files have a lot of individual files within it, so it takes a while to back that up. While that's backing up, the other things you're going to want to save. You can, if you want, you can save your stats folder. That's basically um, your, uh, your, if you go into the options and stuff, you can see your individual stats as far as how many times you've done this, how many times you've done that. And if you want to, if you're the type of person that wants to track that, then, you know, it's good to back that up. It's just one more thing that you can drag into the Minecraft folder when you, uh, if you lose Minecraft or if you have to refresh. I do a lot of modding. So I, you know, every once in a while you break Minecraft. It happens. You know, something goes wrong. You're not sure why it's broken. And the best thing to do is just to delete it and reinstall it and then put all your backed up stuff back in there and you have a fresh clean vanilla minecraft no mods no nothing and then you can get back into uh installing different mods and stuff like that so that's why i wanted to show you this backup tutorial kind of thing so that you know how to because if you want to install industrial craft i recommend you do all these backups beforehand um another thing i like to do it's taking too long Another thing I like to do while I'm waiting to paste those stats is I have texture packs, a lot of texture packs, boom, because I was doing the texture pack review. I don't want to have to find all these texture packs again, again. so I'm also going to back up the texture pack uh, folder. Uh, I don't need, like, Mine Colony, I don't even have that installed anymore, so, like, I don't need Minecraft Colony properties. Um, nope. Oh, good, it's done. Okay. Paste that. And I'm just going to copy the entire texture packs folder. That'll also take a second. Okay, that's done. The only other thing I would like to do is um, all of my Optifine. Because I'm that's another thing that I use a lot. And that's like the settings and stuff like that. So when I reload, I don't have to redo all of those freaking settings. Because that takes a minute so I'm gonna copy all of those and that way I can just paste them over 
And then your server dat, if you're the multiplayer type, that's important because all your servers that you've saved so you can just easily log into, that is the file that saves that data so you don't have to refind all the servers that you like going to. Uh, but that's basically it. You can do screenshots and stuff, but I don't do screenshots in game. That, the only reason there's a screenshot there is because I hit the button by accident. So that's pretty much it. Um, the shortcut that I gave you, make sure that uh, that'll still work after we delete everything and so on and so forth. But so there you go. I have my backup. My backup's good to go. I'm going to minimize that because what I'm getting ready to do here is just completely delete my dot minecraft folder i always get nervous when i do this even though i know i just did a backup because there's so much it's my livelihood you know what i mean like this is what i do i do minecraft and then you're just going to reinstall minecraft the same way that you did before go to the minecraft website and uh launch the game in browser and that'll install all the java stuff and it'll just install like i said regular vanilla minecraft and you'll be good to go so uh once you've reinstalled minecraft uh then everything should be fine if you broke anything or whatever so now that i have everything backed up and i'm about to go reinstall minecraft on the next episode i'm going to show you how to install industrial craft and while i'm at it i'm going to show you some of the other things that i like to use besides that because i do have quite a few different things i like to use so we're going to show you every bit of those and get you rolling with all this beautiful awesomeness Thanks for watching, tune in for the industrial craft tutorial coming up.